Hi y'all, Shoe 7. Okay, so I had a video request topic. Here is the topic. Okay, so this this person asked me, what do you do when you find a guy who's paying for everything at first, all the dates, all the expenses, and all that kind of stuff in the beginning of the relationship? And then, you know, then they start asking you to pay for stuff and um, starting to uh, want you to pay for everything and then they quit their job and then they want to live off of you and blah 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 blah. are they tricking you um, do they just want to live off of you did they play the okie doke on you or whatever so this person asked me what do you do in this situation okay so in the beginning of any situation of any relationship if you're with a guy who's paying for everything who's you know taking care of uh you know, his responsibilities, being the provider and all that kind of good stuff. Praise him for it. Make him seem like he's rare. And like, for example, oh my God, I'm so glad I found a man like you who knows how to provide and take care of a woman and do all the things that men should be doing. I really love that about you. Make sure that he knows that you appreciate that, that you um are bragging to your friends about it and that you're so proud of him and that you're just like in awe of having a man like this because if you do that they're not going to want to stop they're going to be like well dang you know i get all these compliments every day she's bragging to her friends about me you know so they're going to want to continue to do those things for you because you're very appreciative and you know they're not going to think about, oh, is she using me or oh, I need to slack off or maybe I should quit my job and live off of her since I've spent all this money on her. They're not going to be thinking like that because you're constantly feeding their ego. And that is what most women forget to do to these type of men. These type of men who are providers, protectors, these kind of men who like to uh, pay for things for women in the beginning. If they're not getting fed in return, and I'm not talking about sex, I'm talking about their egos. Their egos need to be fed, okay? If their egos are not getting fed, they're gonna stop, okay? If you brag to your friend right in front of your man, and say, girl, my man pays for everything. I don't have to pay for nothing. He's gonna continue because now he has to live up to this. You know, it's like the old trick in the movies where someone wants something and the person says no, so they go in front of a large audience and thank the person for actually giving them something that they said no to so that now they're under you know the eyes of everyone so they have to say yes that's the oldest trick in the book but it works okay also feeding a man's ego works you can get pretty much anything you want by feeding a man's ego okay believe me i know it works if you don't believe me go try it with someone okay just go try it um, a lot of men are um, going to say it doesn't work, but believe me, it does. They just talk a lot on the internet. Don't believe nothing because when you're out in person, face to face with a man and they see you and everything on you, they smell you, they see how other men are looking at you, their instinct is going to kick in and all that crap that they talk online is just going to be that crap. Any woman can allure a man especially in person okay so y'all ladies remember that y'all actually have the power you are the prize and you can pretty much get whatever you want by speaking the correct words feeding the male ego and basically bragging on him in front of other people so that he has to live up to that standard okay and believe me he'll want to because he'll feel so empowered and he'll feel so important that if he stops then he's gonna feel like nothing okay this is how you create men who who want to be providers okay if they start out like that great you have something to work with okay uh, if they start slacking call them out on it don't wait say you know what what's wrong you know did you lose your job like insult their ego okay this is the this is the trick if they stop wanting to pay for things just like be devastated and like oh my god are you good are you losing your job you know just try to make them feel like uh, can you not afford your bills or your car note anymore you know they'll be like uh no you know i got this blah 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 blah. and you know if they say yeah you know i can't pay for this and i can't pay for that anymore and i i i'm you know i think i might lose my job or whatever and blah, blah 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 this is the critical time this is when you need to say you know what i know you can go out there and get a better job sometimes when you 
when you're about to lose one opportunity, a bigger one is coming. So I know you're going to just be balling and getting the money that you need to get um, because, you know, this is just the phase and you're going to get better. That's what life is. You know, you move on to the next best thing. You move up, you move forward. So I know you're going to be making more money, you know. Um, so maybe you should start saving more so that, you know, you won't be in a financial pinch, you know, give them advice. And they're going to be like, Oh, I don't want to take advice from this woman. I don't need to tell her my uh, financial business anymore. Uh, if, if I stop paying for stuff, she's going to think I'm broke and can't handle my business as a man. Um, so make sure you put emphasis on how proud you are of him being able to pay for stuff and have a good job and handling his business. Okay. You don't really have to mean it. You just need to feed his ego, okay? Because that's what men need, okay? Just like women need emotion and uh, affection and, oh, you know, to be told that they're pretty. Men need that ego boost, okay? This is why a lot of rich men like materialistic women because they feed their ego because they know if by feeding their ego, they're going to get exactly what they want in return. And that's all men want from women, to get their egos fed, okay? As as besides sex okay but that's the second most thing that they want from a woman is their ego fed so you know how to feed a person's ego you can pretty much get whatever you want okay um and a lot of men will say well i'll see right through that no you won't because you won't know how i'm feeding it what i'm doing to feed it it doesn't even have to be direct. It can be indirect. I can ask other people to say certain things to you. I can um, suggest things and make it seem like your idea. And you're not going to see it coming because women are very clever in knowing how to get what they want, okay? And you're not going to know if you this woman really means it or if she's just feeding your ego. But you're going to still like it, guys. You're going to be like, oh my God, I feel like I'm, I can rule the world, you know? Uh, and other guys are not going to feed other men's ego so they're not going to get the same satisfaction as a woman feeding his ego okay a, a guy might be like yeah buddy you know you're you're balling yeah yeah good for you but you don't have anything to show for it you don't have this woman you don't have a, a nice looking woman that looks at you like you're a god you don't have any of that okay all you have is men telling you oh you're the man okay while they're telling you you're the man they're going to be leaving with a woman and say, you know, good luck. I'll see you tomorrow, you know, and you're going to be left alone. Okay. Uh, unless, you know, you like men. So psh, I guess it really doesn't matter. But I guess this can also work for uh, gay couples as well. Who's ever the most masculine needs the most ego fed. Who's ever the most feminine needs the most affection, needs the most um, attention, you know. So you can kind of work with those aspects as well. But honestly, I really think that if a man starts slacking off and wanting you to pay, uh, you need to get out of that relationship, distance yourself from it, say, you know what, maybe you can't afford right now to have a relationship. Um, so why don't we just take time for ourselves and get ourselves in order? Don't say you, because that's going to make him feel bad about himself. And he's already feeling bad because he ain't got no money. So let's just say, you know, I really need to focus on work right now. I, I think you need to focus on your career as well and your job and your skills so we can get back on track. Because I kind of think we got off balance. We got so into each other. We got off balance. So let's just, you know, um, take some time to get ourselves back in order. And then we can come back stronger. That's basically saying, look, I don't want you. You broke. Go get yourself together. And when you're ready for a relationship, I'll be here. Okay? So, I know a lot of people are going to disagree on that. But think about it. Do you really want a man laying on your couch all day and you going to work while they sit at home? No, you don't. And if you have that type of man and he's actually doing things to provide service for you, like if you have kids and he's watching the kids, if he's a house husband, if he's doing all the things that you would have to pay someone else to do, that's okay, but you, you're still going to be the one who wears the pants in the family and he's going to feel like less than a man. And eventually he's going to probably cheat because he doesn't feel like a man and he's going to need a woman to feed his ego. Okay? So I hope you guys can understand, um, you know, what I just said and not fall into that trap. Get out of it as soon as you feel like the situation is changing. Get out of it. Okay? If you can't change him back and boost his ego to go get some, you know, um, 
a better paying job or to want to keep paying for you then you need to leave him exactly where he is because it's a trick okay it's a trick okay I don't care a man is not supposed to be the victim a man is not supposed to be the weak one a man is supposed to be strong now I can understand if you know if he loses his job and say you know I need to find another job and I need you to help me he should have money saved up if he is responsible if he's husband material if he's good father material he needs to have stuff saved up in case of emergency if he doesn't have anything saved up if he doesn't have a backup plan if he's not getting unemployment he is very irresponsible and he's gonna drag you down so a smart intelligent man who's a good provider always has a backup plan plan B okay so you you are not plan B okay all right so I will see y'all later thumbs up if y'all agree and uh, if you're not subscribed subscribe uh, also make sure you share this video with who you think needs to hear it because I know a lot of women out there are doing this and they need to hear this okay I'll see y'all later bye